Mm. What up? What's happening? What's happening? What up, guys? So, Retail Regulators here, unboxing mystery in the house. Uh, depending on all these boxes that we open for you guys, depending on how bad your box sucks, I'm going to give you a small or a big bag of freeze-dried candy. Uh, candy helps everything. Those are now and laters. That's a mixture. Those are Skittles. That's what happens when you blow candy up in a freeze dryer, suck the oxygen and moisture out of the air at sub-zero degree temperatures, uh, and it implodes, explodes. Mm. Molecularly, this is the uh, Schumacher box, guys. What's happening? We are back. Hit the share button. This box is for a Karen Schumacher. Hit the share if you care. What up, Jennifer Haga? Edwin, what up, Saran? I want some of those sweeties. <laughs> This is not the European diet, Saran. This is the uh, this is the yellow number five and the glucose and uh, welcome to America. Hey, basically everything's everything that's illegal where you're from. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. First up, first up. We also have eleven items here too. Oh, is there eleven? Yeah. All right. Well, that's good. We have the we got our count right. The toggle top. That looks like a controller on the, the side here. Toggle top. Hit the share button, guys. Haven't been getting a lot of shares lately. I think you guys have been slacking. <laughs> hmm. oh. Comes with a micro, no, USB, there's USB-C cable, the, the user manual, and... What is that, Xbox? No, Switch. Switch? Is it a yeah. Switch remote? Yeah. It's a yeah. dope one, let me see it. Yeah, it has, I can tell from the, it has the house home button on it and the screenshot button and how the A and B placements are reversed. Nice switch remote. All right, put it back in the box. Here, right. right here, you give it to me. We'll put it back later. All right. So that's your first item, a switch remote. That was a great first item. Next up here. Let's see this. Your alley, Arkansas in the house. What up, Francis Smith? What up? What up? Hello, Pam. Hello, Vic. Veronica. Love the graphics. I know the graphics were sweet. And don't forget, guys, this looks like a good box, so she's going to get a... This is not diabetic freeze-dried candy, guys, just FYI, all right? <laughs> if you're a diabetic, make sure you take your... Uh, I don't know how Ted gets away with it, but uh, <laughs> make sure you do what you need to do to be able to eat real candy. Ted's diabetic? Yeah, Ted's diabetic. Huh. But he eats like a normal person. Yeah, I, like that's why I'm asking, because it doesn't seem like he, he is. He tears up everything. He sits down side by side and goes heads up with me every day and then eats five more times after that. Power Shared to loads. Thank you, Saran. Appreciate power, the share, guys. Power Factor Saver. Power Factor Saver. Oh, that's you plug into your wall. It's supposed to save you energy throughout your house. Huh. That's what those are. So you find a plug in your house, you plug it in, and that thing's supposed to save you energy on your electric bill. I would make sure to plug it in as close to the electrical meter on your house as you can. All right. <laughs> If we had one, you could plug it in Nathan's room. Did you make that? Yeah, we made it. I didn't make it, but it was made. Well, I funded the factory. How about that? I funded the factory that made it. Next up, we have what appears to be a sweater. That looks bigger than a sweater. All right, so. Almost looks like long underwear, but no, it's a regular t-shirt. Yeah. This is the first half of it. All right. Next up here, we have... The pants to go the along with Chonies. it. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's definitely bedtime stuff, right? Maybe. Yeah, super soft bedtime stuff. It's got pockets in here, too. Got to have pockets to go to bed in. Energy saver. What up, Karen? All right. It's sweater weather. Not here. Yeah, yeah, not here. We thought it was getting cooler, but it just got back. It just got the back it, being hotter. It's tank top and underwear weather here. Yep, twofer. Let's we check this one. got a twofer. This one here. So the first bag of candy went in the uh, Canadian box. The second bag of candy is going to go in the Schumacher box right now. That's a shirt. That's, that's nice. It's pretty. Yeah. It's doable. All right. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, that was one in the two fur. Next is the actual, the second item. In the corner pocket. Storm's here. Chile in Oregon. Hot out there? Yes, very hot out here. 
Francis Smith, 50 stars. Thank you, Francis. You should subscribe. Phyllis Nolan, nice. Caroline King, funny. Uh, Michelle Maynard, two is always better than one. Let's see what you got there. I don't know, but you have like two bags of these. So I believe it goes onto a bird cage or a hamster cage or wherever you put so it. This one's like and a And then food you hook hole? up the bottle on the outside and then it, it, it uh, yeah, it's probably just with, like a bird. When they jump on it, it tips down and the water pours in. It's a whole big bag of bird feeders. Huh. Yeah, you have two big bags of bird oh, feeders. Two bags of bird feeders in there? Yeah, you have two of them in here. Yeah, you can start your own zoo. You have your own zoo mm. now. All right, let's check this one. Okay. Wonderful job, Seth. Wonderful job. Ah, oh, shoes. Those are freaky deaky. Let's yeah. see those. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Small, but not bad. Have a size on and this shoe. Uh, no, wait. 39 on this shoe. For those who are wondering, because I know, I know people are going to ask. 39. Bag in a bag. That one looks interesting. Huh. Huh? Uh, huh. Huh. What in the hell? Who are they? <laughs> it's me. Uh. It looks personalized. There's a, hold on, there's a plaque on that on the bottom here. For Mother's Day for Danji? Dawn. Doe. Daw. Some some woman and her kid, I'd assume. Okay. Yeah, huh. Well how it went in is like okay, it's further back. Yeah, whatever. Alright. That's an interesting item. Interesting, item. yeah. Separate the kid and the mom so it doesn't shatter when you ship it. Because those names would be easy to change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unless it's supposed to look like them. <laughs> Unless I don't it's know. a custom item. That's why I said it's personalized. It looks personalized. And next up here. But if you didn't know it was personalized, it just looked like a normal statue of a mother and child. That's all right. That was a big box for a little item. Yeah. Wasting space again. That was a big box for a little item. Here we have what appears to be magnets. No, those are brake pads. For a bike? I don't know what they're for. They're brake pads. I don't know if it's for like a piece of equipment, if it's for a dolly, if it's for a... Uh... Looks too small for anything big. Right, well, I'm naming little stuff. Well, you have brake pads for whatever it is. Shana Fonda, what up? Um, Next. Let's just look at that before we go. You, uh, you, it is a brand new towel set for your bathroom. It's got big towels, little towels, a whole and set. they're all white. And it's a set of towels, okay? We're not going to open that because... It's white, and yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get crud stains all over your uh, brand new white uh, bathroom towels. Here we go. That's an anime symbol. Oh, a that taco is box. An anime symbol. Oh, it looks like they ran out of boxes. <laughs> they put it in the bag. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, they ran. It looks like they ran out of boxes, so they started using bags. No, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no doll in there. That's why. Yeah. A statue. And here's the... Is it flashy this time? Uh, no it is not. Please! Mm. Uh, yeah, that's a... Uh, see the t-shirt too. Open that t-shirt. Uh... And 
What anime is that? I have no clue. I know the I I recognize the characters because it was popular for a bit, but I don't know the char- what uh, what show it is. Gotcha. But yeah, that's a uh, that's your otaku bag. It's not a box anymore. What up, Ronnie Walters? Good afternoon. Came in late. We got freeze dried candy. If you didn't see it, guys. If you get a good box, you get a small candy. If you get a bad box, you get a big candy. <laughs> All right, next. Finally, actually, fine. Two left. Oh, yeah, two left. All right. Uh. Remember, the longer messages you guys leave, the more words in your sentence before you hit post, the more likely your comment is going to be seen. Something good. Italio. Uh, it moves it to the top of the feed. The more important the comment is, the Facebook... In, it, I just read this the other night. Facebook automatically moves your oh. comment. So if you're Uh-oh. just leaving like one-word comments, it well, might not even show it on the playback. Well, uh... Oh, the diamond came out. Yeah, it looks like it's supposed to go in. That's not a big deal, though. That's an easy crimp job. Yeah. Let me see. It's supposed to go in this way. That's a big diamond. Looks like it's easy to put back in. So I ain't telling you guys what to do. Do what you want to do. But if you guys uh, pay attention... Everybody that leaves one word comments, go back in an hour and read the comments on the post again and see if your uh, one liner comments are still there. And then go back and notice how everybody that wrote a sentence or said, you know what I mean? Hi, how's the weather? Or <laughs> wrote a sentence mm-hmm. actually had their comments stick. Another yeah. way to make your comments stick and have more uh, prioritization in the feed is to like your own comment. And reply to your own comment. The more important a comment is to Facebook, the higher it goes on the feed. That's why people, I think, sometimes think, my comments disappear. I think Facebook just rendered it as unimportant. (laughs) Rechargeable (laughs) grooming kit. Because you got people leaving period send, period send, period send, exclamation mark send. Very nice. Well, that was a good box. Yeah. Wasn't the best of the best, but that definitely wasn't a bad box at all. You have a nice grooming So, hit. Karen Schumacher, you are going to get one bag of freeze-dried Skittles, courtesy of retail regulators. Mm-hmm. And don't eat them if you're diabetic, because they are real Skittles. What time we, we at? We suck the moisture out, not the calories, not the sugar. Mm-hmm. We are at 12 minutes, 38 seconds. All right, that was a quick one. Four Four minutes minutes and ten seconds. Four minutes and ten seconds for the winners, guys. This is going to be a... uh, We'll do another pair of shoes. Uh, Also, I am going to start the shoe contest. So uh, I'm going to pull down the shoe listing on the website. I'm going to make a new shoe listing. Uh, There's going to be... I'll, I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to do a mathematical count and figure out how much it's gonna cost me versus, because the ship. If we do 250 uh, spaces, that's gonna cost me like 3,800 dollars to ship. So I'm gonna have to figure out where the price point is on everything. But uh, as soon as you see the new shoe listing on the website, that shoe listing uh, also includes the size of shoes you want, and uh, in in your when you check out, include the size of shoes you want. And I'm going to try and get as close to everybody's request as possible. Again, it's a random pair, but if you leave your shoe size for the uh, shoes, uh, I'm going to try and find your shoe size. If you buy a pair, it, every, every pair you buy is going to come with a free contest ticket to get into the pallet giveaway for the big pallet of shoes. And uh, whoever wins is going into business for themselves, I promise, because uh, we figured it out. It's like uh, $8,000 is going to be the take on that. If you sell everything at... $49 less 15 bucks for shipping leaves a $39 profit margin times the amount of shoes was like 7500 bucks $8,000 so get ready guys I'm gonna get that post up before the day's out and once that post is sold out we will raffle it and then I'll add more boxes to the website thank you guys for watching we still got a bunch to open so try and I don't know if you gotta hurry but <laughs> we will be back